Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my March favorite natural hair products or gizmos, okay? So I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure this is gonna be a monthly thing because I don't I, I try not to buy a lot of things. But as of right now, I have a few things to share, a few new things, so let's get right into it. If you haven't already subscribed, join the family. We have a great time over here. I'm Nelia. I come out with natural hair videos every week, so you definitely want to subscribe and put the notification bell on so you don't miss it. And like the video if you guys find these things helpful. All right. Let's go. So this is nothing new to the natural hair community, but it is new to me because they were out of stock for a long time and I was in the market for a new one. So I thought, why not? It's a little dirty because I've been using it, but this is the Felicia Leatherwood Detangling Brush. Now, if you haven't heard about this, that's okay. I'm here to tell you the tea. <laughs> this is just a really good, really, really nice detangling brush. It's gotten a lot of love because um, I know all different types of hair textures love it, like the 4C community, you know, the kinkier, tighter curls, and also the looser textures like it. So everyone was really happy when these came out. It does come in um, pink and black, and it ranges for about 20 bucks. I'm not gonna lie to you, I did not like this brush when I first got it, and that's because I had no idea how to use it. Um, I have the really bad habit of detangling sometimes on dry hair, and I know that's not the greatest, but if it's not completely wet or at least strongly damp, then this brush doesn't really work. I feel myself fighting with my hair more if it's dry, but when it's completely wet, this thing is a breeze. Like this thing is definitely like a shower. Oh my gosh. It will quick, quick as, quick as anything detangle, but I do know that if your hair is like slightly drier or not completely wet, it doesn't work that well for me. I am 3C, 4A in some areas, so you know, loose and tight in other areas. So I know that it doesn't really work for me in that sense. Also another thing, um, the product comes out on this side of the brush, which I was just not ready for. So when you're detangling with your products in, it will seep out of the brush and kind of like get everywhere. So that's a little messy, but, once I've learned all these kinks, I do love this brush and I do find myself reaching for it more than my Tangle Teaser, which is what I'm comparing it to. And for like a cleanly, cleanliness kind of thing, the product coming out of it and like it just being like made of this plastic and easy to rinse, that is kind of a great thing. I know with my Tangle Teaser, I had issues with it just clogging up, getting build up, being really dirty. And then of course, you know, I'm not cleaning it like I should and I'm putting it back in my hair. so. Cleanliness, hygienic, hygienic hygienic wise this is a really good look for you and it's not too pricey it's really sturdy and yeah I think you should definitely try it out if you're looking for a detangler brush and yeah now this product you probably see me reaching for it in a couple of styled videos but I haven't really talked about it yet because I wanted to try it out and get my full thoughts on it and here we are today. This is the Style Factor Edge Booster Pineapple Scent Edge Control. Now, this stuff does definitely smell like pineapple which I'm in love with and it is on the pricier side. I can't remember right now at the top of my head. I definitely will put prices either down below or on the screen but it is pricier than a regular regular edge control but it lays your hair down. I was trying to find out the kinks with this. Again, I did not like this product at all when I first got it because I noticed that when I put it on my dry hair, it's all these dry hair problems, that's what it is. Well, when I put it on my dry edges, it would like instantly like cake up or flake or just not do me any good and just, it was garbage. But once you put a little like water or if your hair's a little wet, it works flawlessly, no flaking, no issues at all. So after I learned that little kink with this, it is amazing. Put it on a scarf five minutes, leave the rest of the day type stuff. So this is also my current favorite edge control. It is not the cheapest fave, but it is pretty decent. Next, I don't really need to spend a lot of time on this, so. <laughs> Melanin Hair Care, the Twist Elongating Cream. This kind of makes you want to go get the oil. I need to get the oil, actually. That's next. <laughs> but, of course, Whitney came out with her Melanin Twist Elongating Cream. I don't need to say much about this, guys. Just try it out. I have a lot of videos on it now. I think three. So, yeah. Just try it out. It's definitely a staple in my um, stash, and I use it 
weekly, so melanin. These last two are from the same line. I know I've been trying them out for at least a month or two now actually and I can definitely say that I am in love. These were sent to me to try out. I wasn't sure about them, wasn't going to talk about them yet, but now I feel like they deserve some extra love. Pretty Strands is a hair company that's you know, out and about in the hair stores. Not that popular yet, but definitely getting up there. I love two of their products. They sent me the whole line. But um, the ones that stand out to me the most are their moisture leave-in spray and the Pretty Strands hair oil, which is almost gone. So I'm definitely going to re-up on this. I love this hair oil so much, you guys. Like, what's in it? Let's see. Coconut oil, olive oil, almond oil, castor oil, jojoba oil. It's just amazing. It's really thick. Well, not thick in a bad way, but it's really full of a lot of ingredients that are good for your hair. And it's just like all in one and it's it's mixed well. Nothing's like settling weirdly in the bottom or anything. And I don't know, I just love it. And for hot oil treatments, it's so good. I love it for that. You can just dip this in some hot water, let it sit for a little bit and put it on your scalp. It feels so nice. So I definitely do love the pretty strands hair oil and along with their pretty strands of moisture leave-in this is made with black seed oil and um organic ingredients first ingredient of course is water with aloe and babasu oil and virgin oil and a bunch of other stuff glycerins in here black seed oil yeah we said that so yeah this is really nifty and what i really love about the packaging of this leave-in is that it comes with a lock I'll show you guys the lock. So it comes with this lock and that prevents it from like leaking when I like throw it into the storage or whatever and that's really cool. I do love that feature about it. It was confusing at first but now I love it. <laughs> All right, you guys, those are just a few of my current favorites in the month of March. I'll definitely keep this posted and updated if I find new products and try them out for you guys. Um, let me know down below if you tried any of these products and what your thoughts are on them. And if you have anything you want to recommend to me, let me know. I love a little, a little shopping. A little bit. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe. Join the family if you haven't already. And yeah. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.